Hello. In this video we will take a look at the CNC output options. Therefore, we go to Data Export and click on the three dots right next to Export CNC. These are the CNC export options. Here you can specify if the horizontal holes are generated in the bottom or in the top program. Here you have an option for a nesting machine. Here you can specify if you want to make your horizontal holes separately. You can specify if you want to make your angular cuts separately. You can sort your programs by material. Here you can orientate your long side of your part always in X direction. You can specify if you want to mill your hinges on the front or on the back. Or you can machine your parts without having edge bendings attached. Here you can specify your output folder, filter for identical parts, choose no subdirectories if you don't want to create a separate subdirectory for every job. The standard IDS file name is checked. This way you can identify the parts by the part ID, which is also available in the list and in the explosion view. Here you can set a prefix for your file name. All these settings are usually made in the onboarding with one of our support agents. And you don't need to mess with them. The only things you might want to change are usually the output path, the subdirectory or the naming. If these settings are made, you can close this window. If you now click Export CNC, the programs are created. Then you are prompted if you want to open the folder. If you click yes, the folder gets opened. You can check now the files with your CNC program. These were the CNC settings and the export. Thank you for watching.